Hi everyone. Um, so for this week, we are going to be looking at um, we're going to be looking at moving into Python, and um, the reason why we're looking at moving to Python is for a couple of reasons. So um, hopefully, you've gotten this sort of sense over the course of the module that what we're doing is we're getting we're approaching progressively more complex analysis and, and uh, data cleaning tasks. Um, week to week, and we're kind of building on um, we're building on the strengths of sort of more um, structured programs to get a handle on what can be done in less structured programs, so that you guys can get you know kind of the the most the, the biggest bang for your buck out of every you know of all of the resources that we're using. Um, so this week, what we're going to do is we're going to look at extending the regular expression work that you guys did last week, um, and using it, uh, doing that kind of using regular expressions in the Python language. Um, for starters, we're going to be doing something that looks very similar to um, to something that we could do, frankly, quite quickly in Google Refine. Um, the reason why we're also doing this in Python at much greater expense of time is because it's going to give us a window into doing some more complex. Uh, step later on. So um, I am here at my favorite place, USDA Market Data. Um, I'm going to make sure to aggregate weekly and choose New York. And of course, as you guys know, I love apples. So I'm going to go ahead and run this report. Um, and um, it's a very important thing to do. Um, you know, I know we talk about how you need to document your process and you know know what's going on all the time. And uh, one of the most important things that you can do. One of the most important things that you can do uh, when you're programming, um, just as I had you guys do the regular expressions, you know, kind of write them out on paper first and not necessarily sit in front of the computer and, you know, beat against the code, is because a lot of times what happens is you kind of get started and you think you know what you're doing and you're writing code and then it's working or it's not working and um, it's pretty easy to get far down the rabbit hole um, and, and realize that the thing that you're working on doesn't actually do what you want it to be doing um, and you spend a whole lot of time debugging for no real reason at all. Um, and so to that end, um, the first step that I'm actually going to take is I've downloaded my data. Um, I'm actually going to uh, open it up in there's my Google Refine instance. I'm actually going to go ahead and open it up in um, in Excel and save it down as a um, and save it down as a CSV file. Now, why am I doing this? Technically, I can open um, technically I can open um, an Excel file in with Python. Um, but you know, as we've as we've experienced when you're working with code, it's it's generally preferable to work with the simplest file format possible. And so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this down. Um, I've opened it as Excel. I'm going to go ahead and save it down as just a regular CSV. And um, I'm going to call this apples as always because I'm always looking at apples. And you know, it's going to give me this error message, and I don't care. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do um, is take a look at this file in Refine. And the reason why I'm looking at it in Refine is because uh, what I want to be doing is um, the task that I've decided that I want to complete is um, effectively what we did uh, with our regular expressions last week. So last week we looked at how I could, how we could analyze the grade uh, column and in this case what I want to do is I want to say okay I want to have everything where, um, oops I screwed this up again because I chose the wrong date, doesn't matter. Um, so what I want to look at here is everything that has the word fancy in it, right? And as we know, and I want to do something like that, the easiest thing to do, obviously in this case, um, it's not terribly impressive because we only have one value that doesn't have fancy, but um, you appreciate why we would do this with a regular expression. So I do add column based on this column. And the reason why I'm coming into Google Refine, I can write my regular expression straight in Python. Um, I don't have to do this step, but I find that it's very useful to do this kind of proofing ahead of time, right? This is going to be a chance for me to, to figure out really easily if my regular expression works the way that I think it does, um, because I'm going to have a lot of other logic going on in my Python program, and I just want to kind of take this out of the equation. I want to know that my regular expression does the work that I want it to do, and I can kind of, you know, put a check in that, put a check in that box and not have to worry about it. So. I'm going to do this is fancy, and of course I'm going to wrap it in my is not null because I just really want to know is it fancy or is it not. And I go ahead and make my facet there, 
and when I do my text pass it, I'm going to see how my true falses line up. And indeed, US1 does not have fancy in it, and indeed, all the rest of these do. Great, so very good. I know that my regular expression does basically what I want it to do. So now I need to get in, so now I want to get into the Python thing. So the first, the first thing actually, before I even get into Python, I want to write down, as I said, what I'm trying to do. So my goal in this case is to read in an existing CSV. Um, in this case, it's called apples as always. And add a column to it after the grade column. That contains true if the grade if the grade is some kind of fancy. And false otherwise. Right? And then I want to output the results. Okay? So this is going to be my um, Python goals. <laughs> my Python, my Python target. Um, so having done that, I'm now ready to start thinking about my programming environment. Now, for this class, we're going to use something called Aptana Studio. Aptana Studio is actually a general purpose. Um, uh, it's actually a general purpose web development tool um, and. The reason why we use it is because it's free, it's cross-platform, and also because it supports um, both the writing and the executing, the running of Python files. And not every, not every program in which you can write code or which helps you write code uh, can also run that code. Atanix Studio can do both of those things, and so that's why we're looking at that. There are going to be other options, um, which, you know, if you pursue this further, you're certainly more than welcome to explore. We're going to use this because it kind of does everything in one place. So the first question I'm going to get asked after I've installed up Tana Studio is, hey, where do you want uh, your quote-unquote workspace to be? Uh, don't get confused by this terminology. The workspace is just another word for folder, really. Um, it keeps, Aptana Studio keeps some ancillary files. Now, I happen to have created this Python scripts folder inside data module already. You could, of course, create a new folder. Um, but I'm going to say, yep, I want it to go in Python scripts. And it's going to do a whole bunch of work in the background, and then it's going to open up to this view. Now, um, probably the primary use of Aptana Studio is as a web development um, environment, but we want to make sure that we're set up best for Python. And so the first thing we're going to do is come to the upper right-hand corner here, and we're going to choose whatever that icon is. I don't know what it stands for, but I'm going to choose Other. And I'm choosing PyDev, okay? So PyDev, short for Python Development, right? Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to open up some windows. Uh, that start page I can just clear out of. I don't really need that. It's just going to have some windows open that are handy for looking at Python development. Um, then I'm going to come up here, and this is a personal preference, but I'm going to do it uh, because I like it and I'm allowed to have my personal preferences. Um, and I'm going to choose um, from the window menu, um, I'm going to choose show view. So let me just get this up here. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Try to get my window, my recording window moved over here. Hmm. Not really working there. Um, well, anyhow, it's from the window menu. I'm going to choose show view and I'm going to choose other. And in general, I'm going to go to this thing called Project Explorer. So projects are what um, Aptana Studio uses to describe collections of code. There's nothing magical about it. It's just what Aptana Studio does. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually then have it go into my local file system, right, which is my, basically my, you know, my computer's hard drive. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to locate that Python scripts folder that I had. And I'm going to actually say promote to project. So again, it understands things through this concept of projects, so that's how we're going to set it up. Now by default, it's going to say, oh, you want this to be a web project, right? Um, the answer is no in our case. Uh, PHP, Rails, and Ruby are other, um, are other you know, development tools. Python is another one. Um, uh, there's nothing, again, nothing magical about any of these choices, um, but Python is designed to be more learnable, and it does these particular tasks. Um, that we're looking at very, very well. So I'm going to uncheck web, and I'm going to say, yep, that's pretty good for me. 
Um, and but now that I've done that, what I can do is it's you can see it's kind of brought this Python my Python scripts uh, folder to the top level, so I don't have to be in this sort of crazy nested environment, which is pretty ugly. Um, and right now there's nothing in it. And so um, the the first thing that's going to happen is so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to say um, I'm going to say uh, create a new file, okay. And I'm going to call this setup test. Now you see it's by default it's chosen my Python scripts folder. And I have to put it in, this is a very important point, I have to give it the file extension. So the file extension for Python scripts is .py. Um, Aptana Studio, I think because it, it can deal with so many different languages, doesn't automatically append something. So the way that Excel will automatically be like, you want this to be an Excel file, right? An XLSX or Microsoft Word will do a .doc, right? You have to specifically tell it what kind of file you want it to be. If you don't, when you're working in that file, it's not going to kind of understand what you're trying to do. Um, and it's going to be much better for you if it, if it does. So I'm going to click Finish. Okay, and I'm getting this message that the Python interpreter isn't configured. What is the interpreter? It's exactly what it sounds like. It is the thing that lets this program read the, the Python code that you write and then actually execute it, right? Actually do the thing that it says. And so what I'm going to use is an auto config here. And this is going to, this is sort of detecting a whole bunch of stuff that's already on my computer. Um, Hopefully, if you've done a fresh install of Aptana, you should have this because it now comes bundled with a bunch of Python. Particularly if you're using a Mac, a lot of Macs already come with Python installed. And so if I click OK, it's going to pop up this other thing. I'm basically just saying, yeah, yeah, that all sounds great. Um, and with any luck, <laughs> after this whole process goes through, um, I'm going to be able to just run a really quick text file to just demonstrate to myself that, um, that everything is working properly. So we're going to wait, wait for the interpreter. Okay, so now according to that auto config thing, everything is fine. Um, and how am I going to prove this? Well, I'm just going to use a really simple command um, in Python, which is print. So we've talked about how there's these built-in functions, right? Instructions that the computer already has built into it. Um, in Python, print is one of them. If I write print it, and pass it a string, which of course you can tell I have because I put done in double quotes, then, um, then it's say, oh, okay, I'll output that to this console window. It's just this little window that pops up and spits out the stuff we've told it to spit out. Um, and the way that I'm going to test this out is I'm going to click on this bug up here. So just to be clear, it's the little green bug, not the arrow next to it. So click right on that bug and click Python run. And if everything went as planned, we can see down in this lower window, it says Pi Dev Debugger starting done, right? Very, very simple, but what this tells me is that my, my, uh, my Python interpreter is set up correctly, my files are all set up correctly, and that right now Aptana Studio knows how to execute Python on my computer. You can also see, and I'll just point this out quickly, we'll see this again, right, that when I wrote the word print, right, I both got this little window that came up suggesting the word print and of course it doesn't appear in white it's been tinted ochre um, and that's very similar to how we saw with google refine when it was looking at say strings versus numbers um, you also see that my strings turn up green here these are just the defaults um, but what this does is it's a way of it's one of the reasons why we use an environment like this when we use a program like this, we could write this all in a text file, but it would be really hard to tell what's going on. So the colors are really important visual indicators here. Um, and you can tweak these settings to be something else if you prefer, but this will just give you a sense of what's going on. So that is our basic setup of our Python environment with Aptana Studio. Um, we've kind of written down what we're aiming to do with this. And in the next segment, we're going to look at actually starting to write the skeleton of our program. So I will see you all in a few minutes.